Hello people, this is Ford Splish Splash and today I'm going to learn you how to do a custom thumbnail using a program, a free to use program called paint.net. Uh, if you want to download it, the link is in the description and when you get it and you start to use it, when you open it, it should look something like this. Now, I can't cover all the features in the program. Uh, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to uh, contact me and I will try to answer them. But for now, I will give you some hints and clues how to make a good custom looking thumbnail for you to use on YouTube. So we're going to open uh, and choose a pick because we want to have something to work with. And uh, remember to use something that is either 920 times 1080 or 1280 times 720. That is a good thing to remember and that will look good on YouTube. Now, this is a pick that I've chosen uh, for this purpose, this tutorial. I'm also going to open an additional picture because we want to do different layers. And sometimes when I do a thumbnail, when it comes to my gaming channel, I like to use my own, yeah, my own face as here. Kind of look surprised, I think. You were not supposed to be in a tutorial. That's what you think, right? But anyways, we're going to go back to the original picture first because I want to work with that a bit. Because when you upload pictures or and videos on YouTube, uh, things can look a bit bad sometimes. So what I first want to do is that I want to work a bit with the brightness and contrast. As you can see, you also see the kind of uh, shortcuts you can use. But for the purpose of the video, I'm not using them right now. So I'm bringing up the contrast a bit, as you can see, not too much on the brightness. This is just something you have to work with and you will eventually see what you like the best. I press OK and then also I want to bring up the colors a bit because my sort of experience when you upload on YouTube uh, is that sometimes the colors is brought down, so to speak. So here I am increasing the solderation, if that's the correct noun name or the way to pronounce it. And just to, just to, you see what happens if you start to play with <laughs> with that, you're not going to do that. It's, it's not looking too well. So again, uh, use your own taste. I'm bringing up the colors quite a lot here. Pressing OK and going back to this dude. Now uh, we have to get rid of the background. And uh, now this depends on uh, what kind of colors you've used and such. But I'm pressing the magic wand. And uh, also that, doing that on the picture. And as you can see now everything is highlighted. But it looks uh, like a mess. So we have to bring down the tolerance step by step. In order to see that it looks better. And that my head is sort of intact. We don't want to, <laughs> to lose my hair. Or anything else that matters. So now I think I'm pretty pleased over here. So now I'm just going to actually press delete. And most of the background will disappear. As you can see right here. Now we have to take off the rest, so uh, we're going to erase that by pressing this one and also we have to use uh, like a wider, wider size, otherwise it's going to take the whole freaking day. So I'm just going to pause a bit coming back when you know I've done sort of the work that you all guys have to do if you're doing, this, doing it this way and uh, we're going to see what else we can do with this. Now I've done that and I'm going to use a smaller size so I can get into detail closer to my head. But I can see that it's really hard because the picture is too small. So what we're going to do then is to go into view and as you can see you can zoom in and you can zoom out again. You can see what kind of shortcuts you can use. Again this is not optional it's just a way to work faster. But for the purpose of the tutorial once again I'm not going to do that. Oh this was too small. So I had to bring up the size again and as you can see now you can be a bit more in detail, more precise with your work. So what I'm doing here is that I'm pressing my left mouse button uh, using this tool and I'm getting rid of the last small greenish stuff in the background. Now when I've done this, uh, you see you can also do undo if you're not pleased and I'm bringing back to the normal size. So let's move on. Now I'm pressing the move selected pixels and why I'm doing that, that is because I want to copy the picture. You see it's highlighted and we're going to go into edit. We're going to press something called copy, control C and also go back to the you know original pic that we have been working with. And now we're going to go into edit again and we're going to press paste into new layer. And you see the shortcut for that as well if you want to use it and here we are. So now I am sort of in the picture and you can move it around, you can tilt it, you can flip it around. Uh, but for now, for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to do like this. 
If you hold down shift, you're also able to play with the size. If you want to bring it down, that is very easy to do. Or if you want to make a huge version of yourself, that is, all, that is also possible. But when you found what you're looking for, you just leave it like this and you can do anything you want with the picture. If you want to increase the colors, you can do that. But I'm going to use a plugin. Uh, this is called Drop Shadow and uh, you can download different plugins to the programs. Uh, that, that is also free. Now Drop Shadow, as you can see, brings a kind of shadow to uh, my picture uh, of myself. And I can also change the colors of it so that I'm doing and also the blur radius and uh, also the widening this is a bit too much in my taste at least for this uh, thumbnail and this video that I'm producing or well it's a tutorial so I think you know what I'm saying so this is also again something you can play with and start to learn and see what you prefer then you press OK and uh, I actually gonna do this black and white and uh, I'm gonna go back into the contrast kind of thing a brightness contrast and you can see the program actually remembered uh, what kind of settings we have regarding that uh, since we worked with it in the background with the, the colored part of the thumbnail. I'm pressing OK and I'm done with this part. So now I will actually bring in some new stuff into the thumbnail. I have a logo here, a PNG logo of Call of Duty. So I'm going to press it again and uh, if you, if you want to pause the video just to check out what I'm doing, if I'm going too fast, feel free to do so. But here I am back in the uh, work and back into the picture. So I'm gonna paste it into the new layer because I want to be able to move it around. And again, if you want to change the size, hold down shift and you can move the corner and change the size of the actual logo. So I'm gonna move it a bit and uh, I like to have it here, I think uh, between the head of the sparrow and the actually um, archer thing there. So that's good, that's good. But we're also gonna do something with the picture. We're gonna uh, use the drop shadow again. This is the plugin I'm just talked about and as you can see you can use whatever you want when it comes to colors You see the small wheel in the middle here. You can play around with this But <laughs> honestly for for this video at least I don't want to use too much colors It's it kind of looks weird But this is the the part where your sort of artistic thinking comes into place and uh, Just let go and, and try what you you want to and you will find your style your way of producing thumbnails that will look good on your videos and on your channel so I'm gonna use black uh, for this purpose and this tutorial and I'm gonna bring down both the radius and everything to something that looks appropriate for me when I'm done I'm pressing ok and there we go now I'm actually gonna have a small logo uh, which is uh, you know I'm associated with the, the network here on YouTube so I'm gonna bring that in and as you see the program kind of remembers also what I've just used before in my former work uh, a few days before so I'm highlighting this again we've seen me doing this before so it's kind of repeating over and over again but I hope that makes you remember what I'm saying better and again we are pasting it into a new layer just like this down to the corner that's where I want it you can also change the size of this logo, of course, if you want to, but I'm gonna keep it just like that. Now, if you want to, you can save this picture, this thumbnail. Maybe you want to use it and have other text on it. If you do so, it will appear here uh, and uh, that I've done. So yeah, I've already saved it. I cut out that part if you're wondering why. So I'm gonna put an add new layer. Add new layer, you have the shortcut there and it appears down here. And now I would like to add some text. So I'm going to press T for text here. Just like that. And now I'm going to choose what kind of text I'm going to use. But first I just showing you also the primary and the secondary here when it comes to the layers. And I'm just going to go for the primary right now. I'm going to choose white. And now it's time to choose the actual text. And that I will do here. Now I have some plugins when it comes to the text here as well. And uh, for now, I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna use a much, much bigger text so it can be seen well on the thumbnail when it's uploaded on YouTube. I'm pressing here on the new layer and I'm starting to write and type this word, wrecked. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna use. And again, going back to my favorite kind of plugin, 
which is over here and it's gonna be some uh, drop shadow again drop shadow again <laughs> I'm working slow so uh, as you can see we are getting closer to the final sort of result and I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial it was actually quite long but I hope you can use this paint.net again it's a free to use program and as you can see you can do quite a lot of things with it uh, there are of course better options maybe you have your favorite but again this is one way of working with it and don't forget to save uh, it's very important if you want to use it later on so that I will do for now I'm just gonna put it on the desktop like this it's gonna be called tutorial and I'm gonna save it as a JPEG there okay thanks for watching this is for splish splash have a great day and you can also play with the quality as you see depending on how you want it when you actually save it press ok and you're done over and out thanks for watching bye bye